Is it the introduction of body scanners at uh, airports to stop? I suppose crafty is the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tourists. Um, to putting, taking bombs in their pants. <laughs> and then trying to set light to them with matches. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're going to have... Uh, no, obviously, it's an intrusion of people's uh, civil liberties, their privacy, that you would be uh, photographed naked. And apparently they can see... They can see everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the security staff, if you're, they, they're going to see yours, you should be able to see theirs. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. So they yes. should wear, like, a leather apron. Before you go into the yes. booth, they go, come on, they go... I think it should be a choice thing. You should be, you know, you might not want to see him, but if you want, if you want, you should have the option. Yes. Yeah. I'd love it. Yeah, but then there'll be, like, a, a massive queue for the, like, 22-year-old blonde girl and then the 50-year-old the fat bloke going, there's nobody coming to my <laughs> one. <laughs> and then the reason for, for it, though, is, is because of the underwear bomber. The, the, near, the near miss, because well, this the... man had, had, had a bomb in his underwear and he started smoking out of his bottom in the aeroplane and they grabbed him and they, they, they dragged him off to first class, which is the way to get an upgrade. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> he set light to his pants, didn't yeah. he? His trousers. And it took a while. It was a guy three rows back. The other people sitting next to him just going, oh, he set light to his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Mamma Mia, don't blame him. <laughs> 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 I did that the first time I saw it. <laughs> I was, oh, Christ, I'll just do something. <laughs> Stop it! It's a weird way to try and detonate. I think he should have got... The detonation device should have been someone pulling his finger. If he's going, <laughs> if he's going, if he's going for full comedy effect. <laughs> I've got a bomb in my pants, pull that. <laughs> yeah, that'd have been good, yeah. Let's have a look and see whether airport scanners is one of the most talked about things this week. This is the news that airports in Britain are to introduce full-body scanners after a terrorist tried to blow up a plane on Christmas Day. I don't think they should be wasting money on body scanners. I think they should be spending that money on a bomb detector. <laughs> uh, back over to you, Jason. What else have the nation been talking about this week? I, I think, um, Celebrity Big Brother. Vinnie Jones, right. Vinnie Jones, yeah. Vinnie Jones. There. I've got nothing against Vinnie Jones. No, best um, to get that in early. Best <laughs> His son is fighting in Afghanistan. You know, a lot of respect for that. And I read a quote from him saying that my son is ready uh, for the perils of war. He's been brought up around guns and fishing rods. Yeah, that's that's a fishing shit name rods. For a band. Who needs a fishing rod in Afghanistan <laughs> going to war? Well, sometimes, sometimes you want to get your gun back and it's all the way over there. <laughs> disappointed with Ronnie Woods' ex-girlfriend because we were all sold her as this Russian babe. She was sold to us under false pretenses and I think it should be renamed as I've slept with a celebrity, Big Brother. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because she slept with Ronnie Woods, Dane Bowers and Alex have slept with Jordan, Vinnie Jones slept with Guy Ritchie. <laughs> it's like they've booked everyone on Chico's phone. <laughs> They said they want to make this the most volatile one ever. And I think the way to make it really volatile is they sit them all around a table and they all reveal how much they got. Because Vinnie Jones says he got 350k and he gets around to Lady Sovereign she and she gets £25 top up on her mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> and let's have a look and see whether Celebrity Big Brother is one of the most talked about things this week. 